Bad leaders can take a good country and destroy it, causing the best citizens to flee and the remainder to lose motivation. Who is still paying? To state that the policies of the President Tinubu led administration have inflicted hardship, unimaginable hunger, loss of employment, and pains on Nigeria is to state the obvious. You know. To also state that the attitude of the President and his team has shown lack of remorse and unwillingness to ameliorate the consequences of such policies of Nigeria as they go about in their usual exotic vehicle, new presidential jets, and overseas vacation is also treason. But one notorious fact that the president cannot deny is a new baptismal name that the Nigerians have nicknamed him, nicknamed T. Payne, which is a play on, his, on the first letter of his name and the name of the American rapper and producer, T. Payne. And this is sparked by frustration over the rising cost of living under President Tenobu's administration. So you don't go blame people. Even though the box stop at the president's desk, those when they cost us T. Payne's on Nigeria, T. Plenty, Shah. And you can just follow me, Jet Jelly, and maybe you go add your own later after I made on list my own. If you are a member of the National Assembly or State House of Assembly and you are riding official vehicle purchased with 50 million naira and above, not to talk of the 160 million naira, or you're chopping constituency votes, what 100 million naira and above from government coffers in this harsh economic environment, you'll be tipping because that money would have been used to create employment for your constituents. You be governor, and rather than deliver on your promises to the people, despite collecting billions as allocations and taxes, you are junketing and spending billions on non-existing projects and giving money to insult people that call you to order as you pocket majority of the fund through cronies, thereby creating hardship and pain on your people. What would be the difference between you and uh, the T pain in Abuja? Okay, okay, you know, G pain. I don't even want to mention our non-existent local government administration that have been turned into salary paying agencies by our, you know, emperor governors. Because that's the where the real tea pain reside. How about our kings and chiefs when they give chief testy title to fraudulent highest bidder and in some cases sell land fraudulently just to make money, thereby encouraging fraud and dishonesty which breeds laziness in any society. I know say they will say they are not tea pain, but you lie. You are involved. You are a tea pain too. If I call the names of our clergy, bishops, pastors, and imams, someone will say they are not elected. But despite the hunger and pain, rather than give to their congregation from the much they have previously collected, they are still forcing and threatening the congregant with collection of huge tithes and offering. Tell me if that no be tea pain too, as it further inflicts pain on an already vulnerable, impoverished, poor, and a hungry people. How about those of us when they act as cronies for politicians and contractors to over-invoice projects for governors, including those ones fanning the embers of crisis in River State because of benefit and other state, thereby depriving the states of governors? Remember those using underage to vote and consequently abandon those children to the streets all in the name of fulfilling the tenet of Islam? Yeah, these same people will go to Saudi Arabia and Dubai. And you don't see such children roaming the streets in these countries. Countries, I mean, not be Islam that they practice too there too. One of the ones when use children for protests and the police won't even arrest the children without rehabilitation or take them to Boston home. And rather than charge them for arson and breach of public peace, they are charging them for terrorism. Why the real terrorists and be rehabilitated, even as politicians are stole the hope of these children are chasing the same children away from the road with siren blaring SUVs. I tell you, these actions and inactions that directly and indirectly inflict pain on a people are actually what causes T-pain. So help me remind them, they are all T-pain, including those that have collected money, allocation, dollar from a mefile before now. Citizens when collect money okay, to rig election, plus high neck officials when manipulate the election. Okay. How about judges and lawyers? When collect money to subvert justice and electoral decisions, and thereby giving political offices to incompetent politicians, no be TP there be. Anyway, now T Baba those ones be. The evil, sorry, civil servant or public servant in our various ministries, parasitas and agency cannot be left out of those whose names are T Pain, as now that they teach politicians how to cook the books. But in as much as we can blame our politicians from now till where that kid don't come. But do you know that we do not, Nigerians, we do not hate corruption? We just hate the fact that we are not the beneficiaries of such corruption. That's why when you benefit, you go do Thanksgiving. And as you can see, you know, any small position you give a Nigerian, you will begin here. Do you know who I am? 
I beg, if I ask who are you, go be like, say, I fear you. Who be you? Maybe most of us are even actually worse than T Pain to our house help at home, our workers, our family members, even our neighbors, or in our various homes, offices, marketplaces, even our marriages, or to our side chicks and uh, side guys. I don't want to mention that one. You know, as the critics of previous government are those in government today and are inflicting pains on the people who spain the swore to ameliorate. So until we all decide to change collectively, Nigeria know they go anywhere and no go change. So I will therefore advocate that until, while I agree, sorry, that while I agree that government is a collective, but the bulk of the decision rests squarely at the president's table. So no matter how much Tenubu's handler like Bayo Nanuga and recently Sunday Dari tells us that they feel the pains of Nigeria, without attendant cutting down the cost of governance and plowing the money into critical infrastructure to boost employment and productivity and create job and generate income, President Tinubu will soon be remembered as the man who inflicted the most pain on Nigerians, whilst promising hope that never came. So President Tinubu, you see, I didn't call you President T or PT or T pain, you know, I called you President Tinubu. The time to rethink and make flourishing decisions, changes like offloading most of your cabinet members and merging ministries, selling off presidential jets, reducing your overhead and travel, and requesting governors to do the same uh, cut costing measures as decision that will truly impact on the people is now. If you like, listen. If you like, no listen. But me, I don't talk my own. Well, make we hang I'm here. Until next week, you can follow us. You know, make your input and impact fed by sharing and joining your voices with us on all our social media platforms showing on your screen. For pain may come. How we respond to it defines our character and the quality of our lives. We can choose to sit in perpetual sadness, immobilized by the gravity of our pain, or we can choose to rise from the pain and rediscuss our collective existence to solve our challenges. I rest I'm here. See you next week.